Oh, how to recruit an architect. Now, I have had trouble with architects. Um, we'll just leave it at that, shall we? Uh, so I am very conscious that an architect is a critical member of a team. And to recruit somebody, you want to go and pass performance. And you kind of get... Anyway, we'll leave it at that. Should we just say, I'm not smiling <laughs> about a couple of experiences with architects. So this time around, we're like, right, we're going to do this logically. Uh, we know that we want houses to flat, so let's have a look at um, what this thing looks like. So um, I got a member of my team to identify 150 applicant applications for houses to flats. Uh, we looked at what went well, what went badly. We understood what the physical layout was. We understood typically what what the council was looking for. We understood all of the accompanying paperwork and all, kind of all the local plan information and how it was in accordance with X, Y, Z. And then we said, who failed? Who passed? Who got the most amount of passes and who were the top four and let's go interview them. Now isn't that sensible? You're actually looking at past performance rather than, should we just say hot air? Because I've definitely been taken in by a bit of hot air a couple of times. Um, hence the frustrated grimace with architects. And now we found the most fantastic architect because we looked at the top four architects who'd, who'd passed, interviewed those, uh, chose the top one and are now working on a fantastic scheme within my properties. So it's a really sensible way, isn't it? Looking at past performance rather than kind of... Um, what would you call it? Presentation. <laughs> That's a polite way of putting it. Good luck. See you soon. Oh, subscribe to my videos. Uh, the button's somewhere. Um, and uh, have a look at my playlists. And also pop on over to thegoodpropertycompany.co.uk because I've got tons of free stuff on there for you as well as fantastic high-level education. See you soon.